That was the scene in California's Mojave Desert five years ago. Our historic first view of the newcomer's ship. Theirs was a slave ship carrying a quarter million beings bred to adapt and labor in any environment. But they've washed ashore on Earth with no way to get back to where they came from. And in the last five years, the newcomers have become the latest addition to the population of Los Angeles. human women had to go through to get the right to vote? Yeah, and it's not going to take newcomers a hundred years. Amending the U.S. Constitution isn't exactly a walk in the park. It's been done before. Resistance to tyranny is obedience to God. Mom's really into Susan B. Anthony. She was quite a woman. As a matter of fact, Mr. Parker designed a lot of this campaign after the women's suffrage movement. Jesse. Yeah. Well, at least it's an upward trend, Bill. Thanks. I gotta run. You too. Keep me plugged in. What's up, Wyatt? These are the Franciscos. Susan and Buck. <laughs> Wise told me all about you and your husband. Oh, uh, well, Mr. Parker, Buck and I are volunteering our time, not my husband's. Mrs. Francisco, we need people like you in the trenches, canvassing the neighborhoods, stuffing the mailers. But more importantly, we need sound bites and column inches. <laughs> well, I think of George as more than a column inch. Don't take my young colleague's enthusiasm wrong. Your husband's a respected city official, Mrs. Francisco. And he's for ratification. You want him to hold a news conference? I can get him to do it. Fuck. We'd like him to speak out with his captain, some other human detectives. Get the police force pushing for us. Count on it. I'll deliver him. Fuck, you can't speak for your father. I'll talk to him. We'll make available prepared copy, a media consultant, anything that'll make him more comfortable. Okay, okay. I'll see. <laughs> Glenox, if every state committee is working as hard as this one, I can't see how we won't get the vote. You even got the pod bouncing around. So when's the ejection date? Uh, in a little less than a month. <clears throat> I think I'm starting to lot, but is Buck, would you go out to the car and get me my wood chip? Sure. I can help you with some squat thrusts until he gets back. You sound like a man who's gone through this. Our first is due in a month. I've already started massaging my ling pod flap. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. All right, everybody, we've got another one. Uh, what's going on? Bomb scare. That's the third this week. We do have some opposition, please. Let's go. Everyone's out. What's the word on the bomb squad? Half hour, maybe more. It takes them that long to respond to an emergency? Well, they had other emergencies. That's ridiculous. So we just have to stand out here till they have somebody check it out? Tell you what, why don't I go inside and get some pamphlets? We can get you started on some canvassing. Wyatt, we'll wait for the fire department. Look, we both know this is another purist hoax. I'll be back in a minute. Lump it together. 
Oh, I'm glad I've caught you. Well, what time is the meeting tonight? What meeting? The Tenants Association meeting. How would I know? You're the president. You mean that discussion we had in the laundry room was for real? Mrs. Gillerou was quite sincere when she nominated you. Mrs. Gillerou thinks my name is Jim, and she hangs out in the laundry room way too much. Well, it's very warm down there. It's good for her arthritis. <sighs> Look, I just said I'd be president, so she'd give me some bleach. So. Mr. Hopper formally nominated you, and I seconded, and then you left, and you were unanimously elected. <laughs> so what time tonight? Well, seven. Uh, your place? Fine. Could I have that? Thanks. Glad to save you a trip to the market. What? Uh, oh, nothing. Nothing. Uh, see you tonight. Right. Oh. Thank you. Bon appetit. So this purist on the phone, he's the same guy who called the last couple times? I would say so. Raspy voice, clipped his words. Yes. What exactly did he say? Well, he identified himself as a member of the United Purist Party, stated his opposition to the voting amendment, and said a bomb would explode within the hour. That's it. No, have a nice day. Do you support the Purist Party? Hell no. Just make bad jokes. Well, people were walking in and out of the building all morning. Dad, there's a news crew. I'm going to go set up an interview. Buck, please. I'm trying to conduct an investigation. Are you always this pissy when you're conducting an investigation? Susan, I believe pissy is a vulgar word. Really? Gee, I hear it used all the time. Well, I suggest you not use it. Besides, what makes you think that I am being what you said? Well, you're just so cold. Oh, I am not. Oh, yes, you are. Well, I'm sorry, but there is a procedure that I have to follow. Well, you could at least smile and be a little friendlier. Yes, I suppose so. So, Susan, did you notice anyone enter the building who might have been carrying a bomb? No. Did anyone seem out of place? I seemed out of place. Oh, George, this is a volunteer organization. A lot of people just started today. Yeah, I got to get the press crew over here. Buck, please. How are we doing? Do you smell the plastic? I don't even need space glands for that. Yes, bomb squad says half a brick. They found timer parts, but lifting prints might be difficult. All right. See if we can get something from on the record on uh, the purist. You don't consider this on the record? Just because some nut claims to be from the UPP doesn't mean he's with the purist. Look, I'll get started back at the office. You want to take Susan home? Take me home. Why? Well, you want to be out here with a bun in the oven? Susan, did you leave buns in the oven? No. Why do you think this? No, I'm talking about the Bambino in there. Matthew, you're not making sense. There's a pod in there. <laughs> Whatever it is. You want your family hanging around places to blow up? Well, I'll try and avoid places that blow up. Susan. What? Buck and I and the pod volunteered. We can't back out because of this. Sure you can. No, of course not. Take it or leave it. Just my opinion. But no political garbage is worth risking your life. My family doesn't feel the alien vote amendment is political garbage. Hey, things happen in this country when big money, not little guys like you or I, say something. Oh, Matthew, that's not true. This country rose from a united front. People standing together, declaring their inalienable rights, writing a constitution and a bill of rights. Wave your flag at home, George. But Matthew, you do vote, don't you? Nope. Amazing, huh? And the country just keeps rolling along. But you've missed all those opportunities to have a voice in how it rolls. George, it doesn't make any difference. Every four years, some guy with a bad smile promises the country is going to be a better place. And nothing changes. Excuse me, sir. Taxes go up, bombs get built, and you and I get burned. You have a very sour attitude toward an amazing process. Thank you. Sykes! You, you want that four street bombing? Yes, sir. I'm Max Clay. Something wrong? 
Well, yeah, Max, we were just about to round up a few purists for questioning, but it makes our day a whole lot easier when the head honcho drops in on us. We're aware that someone claiming to be a purist blew up the headquarters of the ABA. You got a good grapevine. Before you start leaking unconfirmed reports to the press, I suggest you provide proof. But we're prepared to sue you for slander. And what makes you think we'd harass your piddly little organization? I'd say by the look on your partner's face. You can poke our organization any way you like. You won't prove we're responsible for the bombing. Your 94 platform condoned violence against newcomers. I believe it called for forceful denial and segregation of the species. Let's wait a moment and figure that one out. Purists believe that if we don't have complete victory over the aliens, we will face the end of our race, our planet, in our lifetime. Sounds a teensy bit paranoid, Max. God put humans on this earth for a purpose far greater than we know. We have evolved here, spiritually, intellectually, politically. While destroying each other and entire species, also put here by your God. The strong are destined to survive. <laughs> hey, man, these guys are 30% stronger and 20% smarter than we are. They are uninvited guests who have no right taking from this planet. What makes you think you're not the uninvited guests? I beg your pardon. How do you know you weren't dropped off? Because I read the Bible, Mr. Francisco. And God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Oh, yes. Genesis 27. It is the purest obligation, as it is every man's responsibility, to keep our destiny on course. With hatred and innocent lives. With whatever weapons we have. I'm afraid I don't speak your language. Oh, I think that one was universal. I don't understand. Who denied my request for a search warrant? Right. Will you tell the judge I think he's wrong? Yes, but they could blow up half the city by then. Of course I am serious. Yes, all right. Well, you do what you can. Thank you. I don't believe it. I can't get a search warrant. <laughs> I could have told you that. What do you think Clay's song and dance was all about? I don't know. What was it about? Positioning, George. It's an old political game. You can bet your kid's spots that he's dropped by the mayor's office and the DA's office and anybody else has got some juice with the judges. I don't believe that. Well, there you see. You do deserve to vote. Detective Francisco. Hi. Hi, Susan. How are you? Pretty good. Everything's back to normal. Buck's out canvassing with a youth group, and I'm setting up here. Setting up? Well, we needed an office since we don't have the headquarters anymore. We're the headquarters? You don't mind, do you? Well, considering what happened to the last headquarters... George, we are not going to blow up. Susan, we are dealing with fanatics. I'll keep an eye open for any unattended baggage, okay? I wish you wouldn't take this so lightly. The Purists are a very dangerous organization. We'll be careful. Do we have enough room at the house? We're just talking about a table in the corner of the kitchen. You know, some, some envelopes, some stamps. Oh, yes, all right. I think that's fine. I thought it would be a much bigger operation. But do keep an eye open for any unattended baggage. <laughs> We'll be fine, honey. You won't even know we're here. Um, look, Nemo, I've got to go answer the other line. Bye. Goodbye. Last one, Bolt. <laughs> Me too. AVA. One of the other lines. All the states have to ratify the referendum before you can amend the Constitution. Well, California is a big state. We urge you to vote yes on AVA. Here's a flyer explaining our position and why we need your support. You should feel free to keep it. I 
What's the matter, Buck? Oh, it's a real fun neighborhood. It's the kind we have to canvas. Middle class, mixed religiously, ethnically. They're a key cross-section. And they lean a little bit towards the negative? I'll take it personally. It's not us that they hate. It's just our species. Oh, boy, that's a relief. Come on, I'll grab the van. We'll round up the troops and grab some lard tips. Hang on, I want to hit one more. Hey, what are you doing? Trying to hustle me? <laughs> Don't make eye contact. Just keep walking towards the van, all right? What's going on? Just keep walking. I'm going to tell them we're moving on. We don't want any trouble. You think they're going to jump us? It's happened before. Just wait here, right? Is there a problem? May I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, you can help us. You can help us by getting in the car. Wait a minute. Oh, we don't just... have time to wait, Swag. Oh, stop. Wait a minute. Stop. Wait a minute. Swag. Oh, yeah. Get in the wait car. Wait a minute. Where are we going? Get out of here. Wait. Wait! No, Wyatt! How can I not take this personally? These madmen have struck at my family twice in one day. Relax. We'll get whoever's responsible. I think it is pretty obvious who is responsible. We need hard evidence. What we need is to close down this organization now. It's a free country, George, even for the bigots. My son was nearly killed. Another man is missing and a building blown out. What more do you want? I want a person, not an organization. You cut off the head of a snake and the dominoes will fall. <laughs> Proof, George. A solid piece of evidence that connects to somebody. I don't care if it's a purist or a tourist. Fine. I know exactly where to start. Buck, I'm taking you to the hospital. Dad, I'm fine. You're going. Buck! I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, well, I'll get started on the partial plates Buck gave us. Blue razor, right? Yeah. Susan, I want you to take Buck to the hospital and have his ribs x-rayed. Dad! Buck, please. I have work to do. George! If any of your followers come near me, my family, or my home, I will hold it against you personally and tear you apart with my bare hands. Don't threaten me, detective. I am simply reminding you that forceful denial can go two ways. about an hour ago. Are we sure it belonged to Jesse Parker? The DMV verified it. Got a witness who saw the whole thing. Yeah, where? Back seat of the black and white. What'd you see? Two men in ski masks dragged a black human from that car. You showed her the photo of Jesse? Positive ID. You want to talk to her? Yeah, sure. Let her catch her breath. What happened to Parker? Fast ride in a blue sedan. Maybe a blue razor? Not maybe. Definitely. Those purists aren't fooling around. Tell me. They're really doing a number to make damn sure we don't get the vote. And I'd sure hate to be in Jesse Parker's shoes. God knows what they're doing to him. OK, tape it off. I want a full SID team in here. A couple more witnesses. Let's hit the neighborhood. See if anybody else saw Blue Razor leaving? Yeah. Yeah. Come in, Charlie. Come in. 
152, are you there? It's to go. What's your 20? Uh, 7th and Norton. You're directed back to the station, code 3. What the hell for? I'm right in the middle of an investigation. It's directed from the deputy chief. I have no further information. Wonderful. Put me en route to the station. 52 out. Roger, 152. What the hell's the matter with you? I don't understand. I've been upstairs getting my butt chewed because you waltzed into that purist office and mouthed off. Why wasn't my butt chewed? Because you weren't here. Well, I will go up and I will correct the error. No, you won't. The department's already dancing around a harassment suit. Ah, oh, yes. Most likely instigated by some pissy purist lawyer. Uh, uh, that's why I went up there and not you. Why it's been gone for two days and now Jesse Park has been kidnapped as well. That's right, Jesse's gone. And I don't need you getting suspended. I'm sorry, Matt. Don't be. Politics at work, George. The men upstairs get chewed on by some lawyer, and they want to make it all go away for a couple of days, while the bad guys run around scot-free. I will control my personal feelings. You have my word. Fine. But I still want to continue to work on this case. Fine. And I understand how you feel. No, you don't. But I am convinced that the purists are behind this, and I will find proof. Yeah, well, you just might be right. Right on time. Tenants me. Okay, so Mike's gonna draw up the letter on his law firm stationery, bitching at the garbage man to replace the cans on the curb. Oh, we'll suit him. You want me to copy on that? No. Order, order. Uh, Mr. Hopper. The bylaws state that all letters concerning the status and uh, maintenance of this building come from the, uh, the president's desk. They will not this time. I think that my husband's law firm letterhead just might be a little more effective. Order, order. What? She was out of order. Suck on your pie, Popper. If we're not going to follow the bylaws, uh, why do we bother to have them? Good point. All in favor of dropping the bylaws, say aye. Point of order. What? There's no motion on the floor. How do you like to be on the floor? Matt. Uh, just write the letter, OK, Mike? Any other business? No? OK. Then I hereby adjourn. Uh, Matt. Mrs. Gillaru? Uh, yes, Mrs. Gillaru. The, the, the ramp? The what? Last month, we voted to put a ramp in the rear entrance. Oh, yeah. Uh, is it all right, Mrs. Gilroy? You were going to check into it. Oh, right. Uh, this week, for sure. You know, I'd like to reevaluate this ramp. I agree. I think $700 is a lot of money. <laughs> we allocated the funds. Point of order. Yeah, did we have a quorum on that vote? Yes, we did. Hmm. Uh, you know, I was in pretrial. I was incredibly preoccupied last month. Did you fax me on those minutes? Everyone was copied. Yeah, I'll take care of the ramp. Point of order. You know what you can do with your point of order? <clears throat> uh, Kathy, thanks for the pistachios. Meeting for this guy is adjourned. I don't believe he can do that. Okay, so I can quote you on this. Yes, of course. Well, then let me ask you this. I mean, you being a cop and everything, who do you think's behind this bombing thing? Burns, what the hell are you doing here? My job. So what do you think? I think that the purest party is George, 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 that's off the record, Burns. No, it's not. Then you are. Hey, George. I'm doing an interview. You're done. We got work to do. Matthew, George. I have the right to express my opinion. George, I'm responsible for you I'm and right your mouth. You. This ain't helping. Hey, what's going on? give you their names. Just a blindfold. But they did say they were with the purest organization. They pounded that into me. Matthew, is that enough to go after them? OK, this room. Any sound stand out? Airplanes, traffic? Nothing. I'm sorry. Any idea why they let you go? Yes. To tell you, everybody, that if the vote amendment passes, People will get hurt. 
Jesse Parker could disappear forever. They want you to back off the campaign. They drew lots to decide who to let go and who to keep. Jesse could have just as easily been sitting here, and I could have. We'll find him, Wyatt. I promise you. What the hell's going on out there? Probably the press. He's thrown out. You could not meet. No. Under the circumstances, I don't think you should. The circumstances are blackmail. They are not going to silence us with terror. When Jesse committed me to this cause, he made it very clear what I was getting into. He knew the purists were strongest in Los Angeles. That is why he came here. Look, Wyatt, you're taking a pretty big gamble with this guy's life. It's a gamble he expects me to take. I was abducted off the street of a middle-class area of this city. This young man next to me, a police officer's son, was nearly run down and killed. My abductors identified themselves as members of the purest party. I was beaten repeatedly alongside one of the leaders of the AVA campaign, a human named Jesse Parker. We were told to give up the cause, to stop promoting the alien vote amendment. Now, I'm saying this to you now, knowing my life and that of Mr. Parker's is at risk. I pray to my God that this does not happen. I pray that you go to the polls and you vote with your heart. Thank you. Could you positively identify those people who grabbed you? I've given the police a... We're going to call the DA's office. See if we can't seize the records down at Pure Test. You should have some kind of answer by tomorrow. Well, tomorrow is too late. Make all the calls you want. It's still going to be tomorrow. Why do you give up so easily? I'm not giving up. I'm just being realistic. You have given up on this country, and you have given up on the system. That is your reality. You know, about six or seven years ago, I was hooked into this organization. We pushed like hell to get rid of chemical weapons. It took less than a year. I thought, man, this is great. We made a noise, we said something, our boys on the hill got the message loud and clear. And you know what, George? That nice little chemical weapons budget cut gave them more money to build more nukes. That's the system. And yeah, that's why I gave up a long time ago. Hello. Yes, it is. Well, we could be there in about 15 minutes. I can't wait to talk to you, too. Max Clay, Mr. Purist himself, wants to talk to me. Want to come along? Am I invited? You're my partner, aren't you? Has the ABA filed a complaint against the Purist? Mr. Earth, Mr. Earth, have there been any threats? <laughs> Good morning, no on ABA. Those damn slags are doubling their canvassing. We gotta double ours, no excuses. Glad to hear it, Eddie. We'll see if we can get some celebrities out there to help you out. Absolutely. No, I think we have a shot at defeating them in at least 35 states. Yes, I'll keep my fingers crossed, too. All right, you too. Say hi to Kay. Bye. Sorry, my brother-in-law works out of our New York office. Why are we here, Mr. Clay? Frankly, Detective, I didn't expect you. Yeah, isn't it fun? Do you know why our offices are like they are? Why we have computer networks? Why we're linked into wire services? Why our annual contributions exceed $10 million? I'm stumped. George, you got any idea? Because people want us here. Good. Thanks for the bulletin. So why are we here? Because I think this organization, which I was elected to preserve, is getting the shaft. The shaft or what it deserves. Uh, you don't have to answer that. We employ three polling services, one of which has donated their time. <clears throat> Since the abduction of Mr. Wyatt Earp, 
The alien vote amendment has increased in popularity 14%. Are you surprised? Frankly, yes. With all the negative press and the liberal left bandwagoning, I expected a jump of 20 to 28% in your favor. I handed this out over a week ago. No violent action, no direct action, no confrontation. It went to every member of the party. It's just a piece of paper. Maybe some of your members can't read. Every organization has its dissenters. Mr. Wyatt Earp and Mr. Jesse Parker are two very zealous workers. The bombings and abductions are benefiting them far more than they are us. That's ridiculous. That is fact. Mr. Earp could not buy television time until he miraculously escaped. Do you really think that if we'd taken him, we'd release him days before the crucial vote? Are you suggesting he blew up his own headquarters, faked his kidnapping, and almost killed my son for publicity? Positive for him, negative for us, and I'd say it's working very well. Yeah, well, we'll look into it. Meanwhile, maybe you can open up some of your paperwork for us to look at. Maybe you can get a subpoena. Make it all legal. So what do you think? Look, George, we can go ahead and get a search warrant. We can tap his phone. We can do whatever you want. But I got a gut feeling that says that guy doesn't know anything about what's going on. Fine. What do you mean, fine? Look, George, I was leaning toward purist when we walked in there. But he had an angle we didn't think about. Well? Yes, perhaps. George, I'm just trying to get to the truth. I know what you're doing. I just hope the truth isn't what Clay says it is. Is this enough charcoal? Well, with you, I barely needed any. But when Emily's pod was ejected, this wouldn't have been nearly enough. Well, I can grind up some more. No, I think this is OK. Whoa! Hi, Dad. We're in here. Oh, oh. I see we still have the, uh... It'll be gone by next week. How are the ribs? Well, fine. Nothing was broken. Good. He's just going to take it easy for a couple of days, right? Right. Well, you started your birthing case already. Hmm? I thought I'd get a head start. Hmm. Looks like a good solid mallet. <laughs> Did you see your son on the news? Oh, no. He was very courageous. I just stood there. Well, I was proud of you. I'm sure a lot of people were. I just wish that Jesse Parker could have been there. In spirit, George, I think he was. George, mm. what is it? I just don't want this family to ever give up on those things we believe in. Uh. <laughs> what? Mm. The way our pod's been moving around, I'd say it's going to be just as much a fight as the rest of this family. Uh -huh. oh. So what have we forgotten? Um, where are the matches? Oh. Uh, she always forgets the matches. Oh, hi, Miss Gillaru. Shouldn't you be down in the laundry room? Uh, yeah, Tuesdays and Fridays. Ah. These are for you. Perch and onions. Oh. My husband ate them every Friday. Thanks, uh, but I... That wrap makes it a lot easier to go to the market. Oh, look, Mrs. Gillery, I've I just wanted to and... thank you for finding the time, Jim. <laughs> Hi. Is that a fish in your hand, or am I just glad to see you? Oh, I guess I didn't say that correctly. Who put the ramp in? Oh, um, I called a contractor. Is it all right? Mrs. Gillerou gave me fish and onions. She thinks I did it. Well, I told her... Uh, well, you know, you are the president. I, I didn't mean to be out of order. I would have done it. Of course you would have. <sighs> Why didn't you just tell Gillerou you did it? Why? Well, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I, have you ever talked to Mrs. Gillerou? Uh, yeah, we had a nice exchange about fabric softener. She moved into this building when it was built. She raised three children here. Her husband passed away right down front. Hope it wasn't the cooking. Look, what does this have to do with a ramp up the back stairs entrance? Mrs. Gillerou wanted you to be president because she trusted you. She was glad you were here to run things. I guess I didn't want her to think you didn't care. 
I'm sorry. Was I out of order? No. I guess I was. Look, Piceman, you can make me work real hard here, or you can work with me, all right? Fine, I have all the paperwork in order. Listen, listen to that. See, I'll send it to you, okay? It's in the mail. Can you make the phone taps? Wyatt Earp, resident 223 Norton, Jesse Parker, res... That's right. And the United Purist Party on first, okay? And I promise I'll have the affidavits to you, all right? Get started on the phone taps, please. Thank you. What's up? That blue razor with the parcel plates we're looking for headed south on 8th. Somebody on the tail? Black and white. They ran the full plate. It's a rental. Name appears phony. What do we got? It's parked in front of 28. Well, let's have a little surprise party. What? Hey, what? What's going on here? Jack, check the room. Right behind you, Sai. All right, here we go. I didn't do it. They didn't do it. Got him. Got it. Jesse Parker, or it was. I didn't kill him. You're lying. And you've been lying to us all along. Look, Wyatt, there's been a bombing, two abductions, and now this. Funny how you've been right in the middle of each. Do you want to talk to us now? Then I will talk to you. SID found traces of plastic and some wiring fragments that match in the trunk of your car. A blue razor that a rental employee positively ID'd you as the rentee. The same blue razor that was involved in the abduction of Jesse and the near miss of my son! All right. Who's Jesse's idea for the bomb? We need the publicity. A platform. Things just got out of hand. Who was driving the car when you were abducted? Jesse. The car got out of control. Your son was just in the wrong place. So the big stunt was the murder? That it? No. Jesse was hiding out in the hotel room. He was going to escape tomorrow. That was our last stunt, not murder. It was your tire iron, Wyatt. Missing from your trunk with your prints on it. He called me and told me he was sick. He needed to go to the hospital. When I got there, he was on the ground. The tire iron was next to him. Or you can go the whole nine yards. Knock off your buddy. Make a martyr out of him, not to mention yourself. And use us all to promote your cause. No! I did not kill him. What do you think? I think he admired Jesse too much to do this. I know you're going to think I'm prejudiced, but I don't think he did it. Neither do I. Really? He's too calculating, too smart to trip up so badly. He's not a killer. Somebody went to a lot of trouble to set him up. OK, George. We've got to have some solid proof that Clay's our man. A witness, something that implicates the purist. Well, there must be something, anything in their files. Trust me, anything that's on paper has been through the shredder. Matthew. How did they know he was hiding out at that motel? Matt? I don't know. Heisman. Sykes. Yeah? What do you mean there were already bugs on Parker's and Wyatt's phones? Who put them there? Really? Yeah, thanks. Wyatt's phone was tapped? Not by us or the feds. Right at the switching station. 
Hey, drinks are on Mahoney tonight. I'll clean up. I'll meet you guys at the barn. See you over there, Mahoney. Hey, who the hell took my lock? I guess that'd be us. You got a reason to be breaking into my locker? A reason and a warrant. You a purist, Jack? There a law against that? Not yet. Look. You may think you're hot beans behind that badge, but you are still a slag. Would you like me to take my badge off? Listen, slag. I... Hey, what's going on? Anybody wants in this is looking at an obstruction charge, and I guarantee a couple of nice behind steel. No, no takers? I'm out of here. OK. What do you know about the murder of Jesse Parker? That slime lover got what was coming to him. We spoke with your supervisor. Big deal. You work section 12, switching banks and relay work? Yeah. So? Any idea how these bugs got into your switches? Haven't a clue. Any idea how your fingerprints got on the bugs? You didn't get nothing on those bugs. Should have invested in a pair of gloves, moron. And you guys are setting me up and you know it. Yeah, well, we'll talk about that <laughs> now. We're arresting you for a 653H illegal wiretap. We have terrific lawyers in our organization. This will be a nice little paid holiday. You have the right to remain silent. I know my rights, slag boy. <laughs> oh, by the way, Jack, mm -hmm. according to the phone logs we got upstairs, Wyatt made a call to Jesse from his hotel room. Those phone calls led somebody, possibly even you, right to Jesse at the motel. That could make you an accomplice to commit murder. You, uh, want to hear those rights again? Look, I'm not going to take the fall for this. OK. I did the bug, but that's all I did. <laughs> you don't have fingerprints or nothing. You set me up. Well, you just blew it. This case will get thrown out of court before I can spit. Well, let's just say we, we're real committed to making this work long. <laughs> Not only have we got you, Mahoney, but we're going to get Clay in the whole purist organization. With almost 89% of the statewide precincts reporting, the controversial alien vote amendment looks like it will pass with a walloping 67% of the population saying yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the latest results in the first national referendum show a surprising popularity in Midwestern states as well as the Deep South. What happened? Oh, we took California. Oh, that is wonderful. Now, these are all of the wood chips. Oh, that would be fun. I think the mucus is subsiding. Oh, hold on a sec. In total, with most of the precincts closed, 32 states appear to be solidly behind the right for aliens to vote, with Michigan, Alaska, Puerto Rico, Wisconsin, and Iowa leaning toward ratification. 32 states. That is a great start. It's barely half the country. What's wrong with those people? Fuck. You know, look how long it took to get the ERA passed. Rome wasn't built in a day and all that. That is a depressing comment. It was built over the course of 372 years. <sighs> yeah, but you made inroads. Yeah. The system's going to catch up sooner or later. We're never going to vote. Yes, we will. Will you go outside and chop me some more wood chips? Work off some of that frustration. I want to work off some of this frustration. Yeah. How about a newspaper? Huh? Well, I had to hit the road. See you, Susan. Mm, Matt. Not bad. About what you said earlier, sooner or later the system will catch up. Do you believe that? You know something, George? For the first time in a long time. Yeah, I think I do. <laughs> That's good. Mr. Clay, your organization is being charged with conspiracy to commit a felony, conspiracy violations of the California and Federal Invasion of Privacy Act, <laughs> and conspiracy to commit murder. Now, this is merely an investigative body, but at some point, you're going to have to address this hearing, or we'll have no other choice than to pass this on to the Attorney General. Yes, sir. All right, then. Have you ever directly or indirectly instructed any member of your organization to commit a felony? Sir, with all due respect, at this time, I'd like to exercise my right by taking the Fifth Amendment on the grounds that I may incriminate myself. Have you ever directly or indirectly instructed any member of your organization 
to commit illegal wiretaps. Specifically, wiretaps on Mr. Jesse Parker or Mr. Wyatt Earp. Sir, with all due respect, at this time, I'd like to exercise my right by taking the fifth. Have you ever ordered or committed yourself a murder, Mr. Clay? Mr. Clay, do you really need to ask your lawyer if you're involved in the murder of Jesse Parker? I'll take the fifth. And at this time, this committee recommends the seizure of all records, assets, and other material connected with the organization known as the United Purist Party and urges a formal criminal investigation under the direction of the Attorney General to begin immediately. Mm -hmm. This hearing is adjourned until further notice. Point of order, Mr. Hopper. Mrs. Gillerou has a motion on the floor, and I've called for a vote. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Nasus, 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 Nasus,